picture profiles that you set your camera in to record your video is really important. We have lots of different cameras out there, lots of permutations, way too many to go through here. We're just gonna focus on one key thing, and that is log. Log is when you set your camera to record an image in as flat a quality as you possibly can. This maintains much more highlight information, shadow information, a better dynamic range. It looks much more lower contrast and washed out. What you need to do is apply the grade in post to bring it all back, bring that contrast back and that nice saturation. Plugins like Film Convert make grading log footage pretty easy, but there are a number of key things that you need to consider before shooting in log. When you grade your log footage, you're doing quite a bit of work to it to make it come to life. So you need a robust codec and also ideally 10 bit. If you don't, then you could get into situations where your image starts to fall apart, both from compression and banding. Generally, if you only have 8-bit, for the most part, you should avoid shooting log unless the dynamic range that you're trying to capture is too demanding. When shooting 8-bit, I often switch in and out of log depending on the situation, whereas in 10-bit, I always shoot log. If your camera does not have log, then shoot in the flattest profile as your camera has. Many cameras have dedicated video profiles in the menus. Choose one which works for you. One thing I almost always do is turn the in-camera sharpening to off or to the lowest amount possible for more natural image. You aren't softening the image, you're just stopping the camera adding artificial sharpening to your image. It's way better to increase any sharpness that you want in post, rather than being stuck with what the camera does. This shot of Sarah is set up to show you a really challenging lighting condition. Bright outside and dark inside. There is no light in her face. When you shoot in log though, you've got a much better chance of trying to hold as much information as possible. But if you look at the shot in one of the video picture profiles, you can see there is not a hope of getting any nice exposure out of this whatsoever. If your camera has a histogram, use it. This is an incredibly helpful exposure tool that almost all cameras have. The left hand side of the graph represents the shadows or the blacks. The middle section is midtones, and the right shows your highlights or bright areas. There is no such thing as a correct exposure as it can be subjective. But as a rule, you want to try and keep the image within the graph and for it to not touch either the left or the right hand sides. If your image is shunted to the left, you are generally underexposed. If it is to the right, you are generally overexposed. Ideally, you need to stop your histogram showing any spikes on either side. This indicates clipping, which are areas of shadows or highlights that are generally unrecoverable. There are many caveats to this rule depending on what you are filming. Video does tend to be better at holding shadows than highlights though, and this is the opposite of what film does. So try and think of that when exposing for a shot. Adding a light, of course, is going to help enormously both in the video picture profile and when you're shooting in log, you can get the image to look really nice, really hauled. The highlights outside, which are really bright and get some nice light and exposure on Sarah's face.